to Jeff. I love you forever. Vicky. Do you like it? Oh. I was going to give it to you after we were married at Collingwood. You know, I feel a little funny. I don't have anything for you. Your love is enough. looked at me like that the first time I put my arms around you. Did I? You remember when that was? All I care about now is you, Jeff, and about the future. It was in the old Collinsport jail, and you couldn't get anybody to defend you. Nobody in the whole town had courage enough to do it. Only you. <laughs> oh, boy, it wasn't courage. You know something? I didn't know the first thing about the law. I only knew that... that I loved you and I wasn't going to let anybody take you away from me. Oh, God. Those were awful days, weren't they? Awful days. The jurors who wouldn't listen pious. And the Reverend Trask. What an evil man. Oh, Jeff. Oh, we put up a good fight, didn't we? Oh, we kept each other going, didn't we? Oh, Jeff, I don't think we should talk about it. Oh, I've got to talk anyone. about it. I've got to talk about everything. Yes, it's getting clearer and clearer. And I can't get it out of my mind. What don't you see? It can't do any good. Oh, it's all so vivid. It's so vivid. It's almost as if... as if it were happening now. I can feel the same emotion. Remember when we were waiting for the jurors to bring in the verdict? Boy, I thought they'd believe me. Sure. Reasonable, honorable men. Oh, they'd believe me, sure. They wouldn't let us be separated. They'd give us a life together, that's for sure. They wouldn't take you away from me. But they did. And now... Now... Jeff, what is it? Now they're taking me away. Vicki, it's happening again. I'm being drawn away from this place. Drawn away from you. Oh, Jeff, hold me. Oh, oh you resisted them before when you held me. You can resist them now. No, Vicki, I'm going back. It's just like it was at Stokes, only it's more intense now. And there's nothing either of us can do. I'll call Professor Stokes and I'll get him no. over here right away. No, Vicki. No, it's too late. No, it can't be too late. He'll know what to do for you. He has to know. I'd like to make an emergency phone call. Yes, to Rockport. Professor Elliot Stokes. No, Vicki. He can't help me now. Oh, please. Hurry, operator. Vicki. I can't fight it anymore. I've already had more time with you than I was meant to have. Oh, Jeff, no! I'm going back. Vicki, I'm going back. But I love you. Hey, don't forget. I love you. I love you. No!
at Collinwood. A morning that should be a happy one. For on the previous night, Victoria Winters was married to the man she loves. A man whose love has lasted through time. However, unknown to the residents of the great house, a mysterious and terrifying event has just occurred. An event which will plunge Victoria Winters and those around her into new terrors. Can't you answer me? Can't you speak? Why are you here? I didn't know where else to go. What do you mean? He's gone. Jeff? Yes, he's gone. He left you? He didn't want to go. He had to. I don't understand. He had to go back to his own time. What are you saying? Well, I thought my love for him could hold him here. But it couldn't. It couldn't. And he disappeared, Mrs. Stoddard. He disappeared right in front of my eyes. What am I going to do? <laughs> 